this little guy is going to make a big difference. It's a gray day in late August, and Noel Football is helping pick cones, white spruce cones to be precise. The seeds inside of them are part of a big plan to reforest burn areas around Bechacon, his community. White spruce has a very small picking window, so you have to wait for them to be ripe and before they open. So uh, these cones here, actually here's two good examples, so you won't necessarily see it on camera, but um, this yellower cone is starting to open and the seeds would fall out and this greener cone, um, the seeds are still locked in there. So you kind of want to get them in that transition from green to yellow. The project involves harvesting seeds from a variety of tree species in the Clichon region, sending them to southern nurseries where they'll grow into saplings and then bringing them back for planting. This funky contraption is part of that process. A helicopter pilot is maneuvering it to get cones clustered at the top of very tall white spruce trees. Marin Holtz is using a drone to spot the trees from the ground below. And these things are hard to find. <laughs> and is then trying to indicate to the chopper where they are. It's a tough operation. It has at the top of it some uh, rubber fingers on a couple bars that are counter-rotating, so they're kind of pulling upwards, picking the cones off of the tree. And then he flies to the staging area we have here, and uh, a couple people on the ground open the sides of the cone rake and pull the branches out. And then after that, we're just uh, sitting in the branches and picking the uh, cones themselves off of the branches. I think I hear him coming back in again. The Clichon government's director of lands protection says it's an ambitious project. It's expected to create jobs, bring people out on the land, protect Bechacon from fire, and restore habitat for the boreal caribou, a threatened species in the NWT that eats lichen throughout the year. Our elders have shared that they believe that that's one of the reasons why there's not as many caribou in this area anymore. Because it's, its food source is not as plentiful or there's not much of it around here. The focus on the white spruce is because uh, uh, the lichens that grow on white spruce, I guess, are uh, good for caribou. Like the, the, the caribou seek those out more than they do other types of forest. Football, who's helping sort the cones, he said he agreed to help, specifically for the caribou. I like caribou. I grew up with caribou. Actually, we out it. It's our food. It's our lifeline. It's our, we use those caribou high for drums, clothing. Like, we don't leave nothing behind. For others, the importance lies in what it could mean for young people. Joe McKenzie is a Clichon elder who was asked for his input on the planting project. He worries about alcohol and drug abuse in his community and sees a relationship with the natural world as a solution. He hopes young people working on this project are led to have the same kind of connection he has with the land. I wasn't really sure about it, <clears throat> about transplanting, because... Uh, the elders of the past would have just like natural regeneration. But, and then I thought about more, a lot of people went trapping. So I went trapping with my father too. And usually a good stand of spruce trees will have uh, marten and other fur bearing animals. So that way, I was uh, in favor of it to do that. Mackenzie hopes the trees will bring back more than just those animals, that they'll bring back jobs for young people too and show them how the land, the water and the animals are all connected, how they work together. Mackenzie doesn't see the tree planting effort as an act of reconciliation, but Steinwand de Chambeau does. When the federal government or the territorial government are willing to contribute anything to help in, for us uh, as Clinchon people, language, culture and way of life is our everything. 
So if they're willing to contribute anything to help in those areas, that's a big plus and a big positive. Yeah. She also sees planting one million trays around Bechacal as part of a reciprocal relationship, one shared by Mother Earth and the Klichon people. Well, there's times where maybe our land's tired um, and needs a bit of a break, but this is where we can come in and say, we're here to help you. You know, you've sustained us for many years. Now it's our turn. The Klichon government signed an agreement with Tree Canada and Let's Plant Trees last year to make all of this happen. Tree Canada expects it's going to cost about $5 million and they're looking for sponsors to cover half of that. They've raised about $300,000 so far. The next step now that the seeds from all the trees have been collected is to grow them into saplings. Those saplings will be planted around Betchikal over the next two years. The Klicho government expects this is going to create about 20 full-time jobs and another 150 that are part-time. But as Steinwan Deschambeau says, it's not just about what it means for the people. It's about helping Mother Nature as well. Lini Lambrink, CBC News, Yellowknife.